Mary, welcome back to the channel, the Simpson Beaches. We are very happy for this car, baby. Um, we got pretty M2, even though, but we're gonna explain why it's not as close as you think it is. We actually got up just a little bit more, and uh, but you know who we are, this is. Yankee. And I'm <laughs> Mel. Let's get him, boys! <laughs> I <laughs> <double nine. laughs> All right, so uh, we had, out of the five fights, we had three rights and two wrongs. Yeah. So you could say, oh, you guys got away by the skin of the teeth. No. All right, so we're going to explain that just about now. You see my actually explain that. So the first fight of the night was actually, and our first pick was actually between Mr. Silva versus yeah. Dolby. We got it. We got it. Uh, Here's the main reason why we did not get away from the skin of our teeth because Dolby was actually not the favorite favorite to win this one. So according to certain people, certain coaches, certain whoever they they were betting on Silva, he was gonna win. And we now we said no. Uh, we have a very good feeling that Dolby was gonna take it and by decision. decision. And by decision. Yeah. By decision. Yep. That by decision. Plus so and it was plus money. Now, the next fight was a, a, a women uh, fight uh, between Nick Bomb versus Leonardo. And we said it. If Leonardo takes it to the ground, he's going to take it. Mm -hmm. That was what happened. That's exactly it that's pretty much what happened. Took uh, Bomb to the deep water, water for <laughs> seven minutes. <laughs> and that's it. And that's it. Bye bye. The next fight between Mr. Albert versus Nelson. I. I was surprised that yeah. Herbert to the <laughs> took this one. Yeah. Uh, but he did. Uh, he had he had a couple more hits than this guy. He's more control. He was a little bit more active. I would have might have been maybe be a draw, but I think it. Herbert. I was in And yeah, uh, I think he, he took it for sure. And uh, congrats to him. And sorry, Nelson, you know, for the next time. All right, so the next fight in our second pick of the night, and we got it, by the way, Mukai versus Johnson. Mukai took Johnson to the deep water. Like you know yeah. what's going to happen. You're going to the ground. Yep, he <laughs> took Johnson to the deep water like he was a kid, like he couldn't swim, and that's it. It was a complete domination from under, uh, from that point onward. Took him to the ground, and ground and pound here, ground and pound there. It was kind of a little bit slow, but that is his fight. He yeah. knew what he had to do, and he accomplished it. We got the second pick of the night. Also, he said that he wanted to achieve 31 and 0, and they decided to achieve 0 and 0. And 0. That would be great. Yeah, that's why he wants to Because remember, if he's from Dagestan, the same that Kavit, so Kavit, you know, retired at 31, 29 and 2, so he wants to retire at 31. I want, I want to see if that even happens. It's going to take a couple of years. But that. you know, but I think that in this division, in the 135, if there is not a record that can, like, figure it out, Daniel Moreno, neither of these guys has a record for that. Of guy. course not. This guy is really... This, this I think that he's going to start really quick in the ranking in the private division. Yeah. But, but I want to see if, if he actually makes it to 31 fights in all the time. Yeah. But this one is going to happen. Once he so gets 15, once he gets like six, seven more fights, and he wins them, it's gonna be championship. It, it's gonna start, competition is gonna start getting rough for him there. So I wanna see if he can keep it up all the way to 31. If he gets the 31 and 0, in the go conversation. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he's, he's, he's gonna, gonna, gonna about all in the UFC because he has done the UFC 6 and 0. Right now he's 0 and um, Eight and old, so it will be like 23 wins in the year. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> so the next fight is between was between Mr. Americani versus Spirit. Like I said, I don't know what's going on with Americani. Yeah. But we said it seems he has a her child, her beautiful child. He has been like different. I don't know what. Yeah, but this is the thing. Uh, they, they need to use that shuttle as extra motivation and training work. I don't know if that is the case, though. You never know what's happening between what's happening inside a home. If you don't live in it, if you don't live next to it, if you don't talk to him, 
not saying nothing is happening in there, but maybe something is happening there is affecting him emotionally, and he's coming without baggage to fight and to train, and maybe he's not doing properly. But anyway, congrats to Pierce. Sorry, we kind of, maybe next time, if you don't get um, fired or get the boot, but mm -hmm. then away. All right, so the next one was between Mr. Wood versus Rosa. Now, mm -hmm. I do not remember this one at all. If I say uh, this one already, I, I no. think we said that Wood is gonna take it, but you know, like the line was my not in so there is nothing like that. A complete mismatch. Yeah. It's not even fair. But Rosa took it like a man. Without Vaseline, but he took it like a man. <laughs> it is what it is. So the next fight was between Mr. Diakis versus Damir Hazovic. Hazovic. <sighs> well, Haz I mean, Diakis got the fight. Congrats to you, my dude. You got more food to put at the table. You got more money. And that's amazing. Sorry for Hazovic. And, uh, but the Akis completely took this guy to beat water too. It was mostly, it was on the, I mean, it was. And they fired down the ground. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they started, mm -hmm. I think the, the coach, you know, when they're starting in the middle, they say, are you ready, are you ready just to get it on? I mean, he was on the ground like this. Both guys were on the ground. Are you ready, are you ready? Let's get on! They started on the ground <laughs> Making shit up. Anyway, and that's why we threw Mr. Jones versus Flame. And they, oh. this was our third okay. pick of the night. We get killed. We got killed here. Jones uh, dropped the ball. Jones, oh. Uh, and in the first round, he was winning, but in the second round, he started doing pretty shit. Like, he did submission or position, and that is a bad, bad mistake. You always have to have position or submission. He, couldn't get it and he was the whole second round on the ground and after that you know you have to go and try to kill the other man and you're gonna get a bit of money, you know. Mm -hmm. So that was what well, I think Jones is still has more chances of four this Yeah, he's really young. It's still his, his second fight, his second last fight, so I'm not gonna throw the towel. Let's just wait and see what happens if he comes out, out of it. I'm pretty sure I'm very confident he's gonna come out of it a little bit stronger than before. Let's see. If he, if he does. Alright, so the next fight and our fourth pick of the night between Mr. Craig versus Orstemir. We didn't get this one. Or Craig's gameplay is pretty much go to the ground. Get to the ground and try to get the yeah. other guy. We were banking on that because he's really good at that, but he could not get Orstemir out of all. Orstemir fought the fight of his life and he never gave an inch or a quarter to Craig and pretty much dominated uh, Craig. It is what it is. And uh, that's it. Uh, Craig lost it. Congrats to Orestemir. Craig, next time. <laughs> the next slide. Molly McCann, the meatball against Anna Goldie. Mm -hmm. You know that I'm looking now, he has been two spinning back elbow in a row. Because the, other, the, the last fight that she took against Luana Carolina was a, a spinning back elbow too. So we have been two in a row. I'm telling you, I, I've been telling you, I've been telling uh, the viewers too. Uh, we've been talking about this a lot. My cat, it's a really aggressive yeah, fighter. She doesn't have any chance against a like, 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 like somebody that has like a lot of technique, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, yeah. Uh, but the thing is, we need to take advantage of McCann right now because people just start getting like actual technical mm -hmm. uh, right. uh, women fighters. It's gonna be a little while, and she's gonna start. She's gonna keep on winning most of the fights. So we need to keep an eye on that. And as soon as they put it with uh, Valentina to send them, you get the fuck out. Or Marvin Fiore too. Yeah. Yeah. McCann is on the house pick and congrats to her. This lady has a fire that I haven't seen in a lady in a very long time. Ever since Amanda Nunes, well, but you know, still had it. I think Amanda Nunes is, I don't know, uh, not very focused on, on, on fights right now. But Amanda Nunes has to have fights too before when she became champion and then she fought Ronda Rousey and, and 
with the other girl, who went to Bob Valentina too, she's still had a lot of fire like Macan. And she's kind of a little bit technical too. But, uh, you know, keep an eye on Macan because she's going to make you guys and make us a lot of money. Yes, sir. All right, so, the next fight, you want to talk about this one? Yeah, Nikita Krilov against Alexander Gustafsson. We said it like, we don't know how Gustafsson is going to be, and Mel said that maybe he went for a check, and that was what happened. Was a quickly first round TKO. And his chin is not there, and I think that he, he didn't want it to be over there. Yeah, he, he had to get blocked completely. And you know, uh, Cornel said after the, the, the car, he said, my friend, we got it. You know, we have all the creation base, you know? He's a, right now in the Hall of Fame already because they give him like the jacket of he's gonna be in the Hall of Fame. He's not gonna be key for the, in the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. So you know, he has a fight of the year with a John Jones, you know. Yeah, and that's it. Back then, back then he had a lot of fire. He was beating a he, lot he of people. He fought twice for the belt, one against Corner and one against John Jones. But you know. It wasn't for him to get the goal. It's but like he's one of the best players. You know. It's like uh, really tough. When he was in his prime, and then and then and then it's, it's, it's two complete fights. Like right now, I don't see any interest in Gustafsson to actually win a fight. I don't know what's going on. It's like I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm, I can't say I'm disappointed in this guy, but he used to be a monster in this division. No longer is. It's just what it is. So congrats to Krylov and I'm sorry, Mr. Yeah. So the next fight and was our fifth pick and our love of the night, Paris the party Pimblet against Jordan Levy. We said it guys that Pimble is not gonna lose in London. And uh, we this guy forget the monkey king, but you <laughs> that's why I send you to London to lose with Paris the party. If you imagine, if you saw the car, how they have all the uh, scenarios, the lights, everything, like the show, do you imagine that Paris the Paris does the fight? Like, he has to disappear from the world. Like, if Paris the Paris is going to lose, he's going to lose in the U.S. I don't think that he's going to lose in the, in the U.K. Yeah, yeah. And that was the reason that I was banking on him. And also, he has improved his, his striking, you know, like, he's not so lazy and he's young. He's, 25, you know, like he do crazy chair when he's not in camp, but you know, now he can do it. Like they say, when he's 30, 31, he cannot do that crazy cut that he does like 30 pounds, you know, that's crazy. But right now he's really young. You can do it with your health, how you hide. Yeah, the, the, the man is definitely a skill. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. a very skilled fighter. He's a very well-rounded fighter. Yes, sir. We, we, what we say in this? Well, round the fighters, once they get into the championship contention, once they get that championship belt, it's going to be really hard for somebody to get that belt yeah. if they are not as good as they are, if they are not good in the same area that these guys are. The only thing that I would like that he uh, get better, you know, is his head. He doesn't like to move his head so much. He like doesn't like have head movement? Yeah, like he lives in the, you know, in the, in the middle, you know, like for you to hit, you know. That's something that when you get tougher, like, uh, tougher competition, you cannot do that. That's yeah, you're exactly. gonna get, you're gonna, you're gonna get a technical guy that's gonna, that's gonna find them with a chat and then, yeah, absolutely, I agree with you. He needs to uh, have a better head movement for sure. Yeah, but he can improve. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, he's, he's really young. young. He's talented, he's so yeah. All right, so the next fight was between Mr. Henderson, Henderson versus Curtis. I was really impressed. Like if I tell you the truth, how Her Herman comes. So like his stand up against a crazy, crazy boxing like Curtis. He didn't try to take it to the ground at all. He was only striking and I saw like was a boxing a boxing yeah, match. It was a boxing and match. And when yeah. I saw it that he was winning to Curtis, also we have to say that Curtis took uh, the fight in only one wheelchair now. Of course. But you know, but that's not a cute. If you if you did it because they pay you more for going there to fight. You know, like that was the reason you went, you know? But that's no excuse. Like Ken Marshall showed like he's really a dog. He is still guy, you know. I'm really like really happy for him because he's one of the best in the division and I really like this guy. Yeah. So this guy uh definitely impressed me too. The way he fought Curtis. 
And uh, well, like Gacy said, uh, Curtis came with one week of uh, short, short, short notice. I mean, he's a victory nonetheless. And uh, let, let's be real about this, Curtis 55, because he needs to get paid, whatever. But by him paying also the fight indirectly, Hermanson also gets paid. It's yeah. as simple as that. And uh, he came in with the idea probably that uh, he could beat Hermanson. But Hermanson is an assistant. He's a Yeah. He's a fighter. Yeah. He's a warrior. So. And the next the fight of the main event of the evening, boys and girls, Mr. Blaze versus Astronaut. You see, you want to talk about this one because yeah. in this moment, that's when I got up and went to the bathroom and laid down. I did not see shit. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. When I came back, what happened? Gail! And I thought, and I thought this guy Blaze not acting on me. No, I mean, this, this, this guy's taking this guy's taking these guys out by, by punching and kicking. He was like, no, 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 this guy got something in me. Yada, yada, yada. What happened? Yeah, well, what's really quick? What happened, they start landing punches, there was a changing, uh -huh. and then Asmina landed a kick. But the kick, when he landed, his knee, uh, in fact, in the knee of Blake. So it was knee against knee, but it was like this, and then, pop, it's the knee pop. Yeah. As soon as he kicked, he pop and he, and her did stop. Yo, that, that injury, I have to see the video, that injury, was really good. Could actually affect his whole career. I'm not gonna say it will, I'm saying it could affect you his whole career. Uh, yeah, these are like, you know, it's very important if you guys see the NBA, but usually when, a, when an NBA player gets his knees bad. It's for some people, they have to be jumping. That's it, really it, for some people. It, 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 uh, um, it diminishes the movement of the yeah. game. Heal, yes. and after you get healed, you uh, you be all the time cautious because you don't want to get injured again. So you are afraid you don't perform the same that you used before. You what happened to the Alcanto guy? He had both knee, not only one, both knee, and uh, after that his movement is not the same yeah. because Absolutely. it's not the same like the both how you had it and then when they have to do a surgery you know you have to do all the rehab everything it's like a uh, learning to walk again you know but in this case only one leg i hope that he you know can perform again how he has because he has a lot of potential but we don't know what can happen at least i think that he's gonna be away for one year at least because with all the rehab and everything you know absolutely he's gonna be out for for between Eight months to a year. That, that's what I calculate too. And uh, hopefully he can recover and come back. And like nothing, nothing gonna happen because we really like this guy the way he fights. He's made us a lot of money. I see that we love the guy. You know, have to fight. So congrats to Blade. Even though it probably was not the ending that he wanted. Yeah, he said it. He didn't want it, but he said I took the win. I don't want to fight again. I won. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's true, you know, we have to move on because he was saying like, I'm risking my position, my number in the ranking, you know, what I have to do again? I think the same, you know, like, that's not my problem. Like, I would say to a friend, like, if he didn't land the kick, he wasn't be injured, we couldn't see it. You know, it was like the time that, eh, eh, La Araña, eh, Spider, uh, Silva. Silva land the kick and Wyman put the, the check it out. Yeah. He checked it out and he completely buffed his uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, his ankle. Yeah. Nice tia, his ankle. So yeah. and that was pretty painful to see. Alright, so so that was it, fellas. So that was that was us, you know, reacting to what happened in that car on Saturday and uh, also we had our first week we start with the weight again, you know how our last was eight week and the last one that we have was like seven the one before that yeah so you know we all move to street and the one before that was like ten you think no, I think that was like eight. We, we had like no the first the first one the first one was like ten weeks oh okay. eight so the second one was eight and um, this one we're gonna start no it was seven this one was seven because that's the one that did the eight that we lost and now we have one so you know we are like that this is the game if we are profitable all that Fifty seven for ten we are making more, you know. So if we are making it, you're making too. So next card guys is gonna be a pre preview. We have the second fight against Amanda Nunez and Juliana Peña. It's gonna be fireworks. We have the interview champ 
again, Brandon Moreno, Arcai Canafran, we are going to have David Louis in the house, Mago Mepa Cola is going to be a really a top card, so be ready for make money, and you know that in paper views, we come with a banger for taking it, and make money that we always say, and like Mel said, what time it is? Money time, baby! Motherfucker! So, <laughs> that will be all for today, catch you guys in the next one, bye bye! Thank <laughs> you.